Well, hi everybody. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit louder and not yell, but try to talk a little bit louder because I've had people com leaving me comments that they can't hear me. And all I have is an iPad. I don't have a regular computer where I can plug a microphone into it. So I thought what I would try to do was just to talk louder. And that's kind of against, I feel like it's against my nature. I grew up in a very quiet talking family. In fact, it was so quiet talking it was ridiculous because um, when you got five people in the family and three of them are Libra and one of them is a Taurus, and the only, anyway, it's really hard. The biggest thing that ever happened to us, the biggest decision was trying to figure out where to go to have dinner because nobody wanted to place an opinion that that might be different than anybody else's. It was really strange. It was, uh... anyway, so I grew up in a very quiet family. But what I want to talk about tonight and what I'm going to read the cards on, is nothing that's going on in the news like today because there's so much stuff there. I don't know where to start and don't know where it's going. I want to see these dims grow up here and just not say, I'm going to give you one more day. No, I, I want to hear them just say, no, this is it. This is what we're doing. But anyway, I know they're trying to make it pleasanter, and I know they're trying to make it take the high road like they always do. When they know that you can't take the high road when you're dealing with a bunch of thieves and scoundrels, it doesn't work. And they, the quicker that they realize this, I think the better all of Washington will be. And what else I want to talk about is the quicker they realize something else, all of us are the people running the news media or whatever. But they get their money from big business on these political programs, even if it's uh, CNN or MSNBC. And... Uh, They have a lot to do with what's said. I mean, I know over the years some people that were fired from MSNBC. Um, the guy that has the Young Turks now, Jinx, and can't think of his name right now, but the redheaded guy that uh, passed away last year. Uh, he got in trouble for going to Standing Rock and got fired. So there's a lot of big money and big corporation money in here that doesn't come in and say you talk about this or you talk about that or you're gone but but they start nudging them and and pretty soon they're gone and um, gee I can't even think of my favorite one that's the guy that used to be the baseball announcer that was uh, used to have the six o'clock slot used to have Rachel Maddow's slot till he got fired several years ago but he was doing the same thing. He was wanting to do the news, and they were wanting him to do their news. So this brings me back to everybody on all those programs just cheering for Joe Biden to get in there. Like he's going to be some kind of savior. Well, what's behind that? Joe Biden's two years older than I am, and believe me, it's too freaking old to be the president. I don't care what anybody says, it's too old. And so is Bernie Sanders right now. He, he, he doesn't have it together like he did last time. But if he gets in there, he gets in there. I wouldn't, of course, if he got the nomination, I'd vote for him in a heartbeat. I'd vote for either one of them. I love Joe Biden. And they're so afraid of Joe Biden, that's why all this stuff is coming out now. I mean, when did humanity go out the window? I guess because I'm a real touchy-feely person myself and a massage therapist. All my life I've laid hands on people and rubbed them and petted them and and you know been a massage therapist for the last 35 years uh that's what one human being does to another to comfort them or make them feel comfortable or relax them it's uh it's nothing to do with being sexual but although i have had people get too close to my face when they're talking to me that invades my space for somebody to get right up you know an inch or two away from my face even if they're you know, saying nice things, to me that's too close. But um, but we all have our little deals. But it's also, 
when did we all get so uh so wimpy or what is it bill maher calls it i can't think of what he calls it become such snowflakes that somebody offering us comfort even though they may make us feel a little uncomfortable for a few minutes or a few seconds when did we get to that point that we don't want comfort from others because it may not be our idea of what comfort is but uh so i'm not putting biden down i'm building him up i think he's a wonderful person i think even if it had been four years ago he could have pulled this off and probably got the presidency but uh he's too old and besides that it's it would be different if there was no other talent in there but there is so much talent in there but what gets me is watching these news medias go away from like the Cortez woman uh, is her is it OIC or whatever her, I can't get her initials down for <laughs> for some reason but I think she's wonderful and I think she's beautiful and I think if she's 15 years younger that she could march in there and take the presidency away from all of them I think she's that sharp and I think her all of her ideas that I've heard have been wonderful I know one of my children are in the medical field and they've been in it all their adult life and they're very high up in it and they've explained to me for years while single payer medicare for all would be so much cheaper and so much more efficient and we'd all get better better health care and it may cost a little more than the other insurance for the first four or five years but then it would start going down where the plans that were all been thrown up in the last 15 years they just keep ballooning and ballooning and ballooning especially the ones we run before obamacare it was even more so so uh what i'm thinking big oil companies and the republican party are the donors for the republican party are behind a lot of this even though they're donating to the other channels doesn't mean that they're not getting influenced and uh, i really don't think that if, even if joe biden chose to win to run, not to one to rent to run i don't think there's any way he could win because he's too out of touch with what's going on now and and if you watch like morning joe and all these people that were republicans but have changed over you already know the only people they're going to be comfortable with is joe biden and it's uh it it's so uh obvious it's ridiculous and uh I'm, they might go with somebody else, maybe Amy, Amy Klobuchar. It would have to be somebody totally in the middle. They're not going to really go for any new or innovative ideas. And they're more afraid of our government being brought up to date than they are of anything else. And so before this is all over, I'm sure, I may not live that long, but I'm sure you guys will all look back on this and think of Trump, even though being the totalist, I'm gonna be nice I'm just gonna call him a nimkin poop and that's that's too nice for him really it is but the t most dishonest person and horrible person that could ever get into the presidency and he's tore our democracy apart when we look back on this we're gonna think of him as doing a great service to us as the United States because I think if some of these new thinkers and younger people get in there that they're going to go in and revamp our government and clean it out and clean the mess out and i don't even want to call it a swamp because he's called it but i think by the time they get through that they'll have some beautiful lakes and streams and maybe even be helping the planet and that's what if i had my way to tell them what to run on that's what they'd run on I mean, they can run on medicare for all but what they need to do is get on this clean this planet up and take care of our grandchildren and great-grandchildren or nobody they they keep throwing all this stuff out stupid stuff we all know anything from hamburgers to windmills but what difference is it going to make if the planet's unlivable and unless something's done our planet's going to be unlivable so it's time to do something and So um, anyway, I'm going to do a reading on Joe Biden, and I think what I'm going to do now, 
because I've already, I'm looking at that, I've already <laughs> ran it for 10 minutes. I might just put this up as a 10 minute rant from the old lady. Okay. There we go. We're just going to go across. Across and then back on a Um, let's see what would happen if Joe Biden was to get in there. Let's see what his chances are. I'm just going to do four. I'm not going to do a whole big reading on him because I don't have time. And I've already got these. I've sh shuffled and shuffled and shuffled these cards and with him in mind. So let's just take it from there and uh, see what comes up. What was going on yesterday with him? Well, he's still trying to make his decision. Can you see that? That's the Four of Cups. It's an offer somebody's making him, and he still don't like it. So I don't know what's going on there, but it's some kind of offer, and he's not liking it. And he's still wondering if he'll be able to get enough money together. That's what's going on back of him. He knows that all these other people have got all kinds of people backing them, and they really know how to use social media, and he's thinking, well, I don't know if I'll be able to get that kind of backing. So that's what's going on with him now. And the obstacle is walking away. So I wonder what that means. I wonder if that's him changing his mind, deciding not to run. Oh, I was doing a reading on him. I wonder if in his heart he even thinks that Trump's not going to last out this deal and that any of these Democrats can beat Pence or whoever else they throw up there, especially after their performance for the last four years. But whatever he decides to do, he's not even going to stay until the, until the finals. He's going to walk away from it. So I'm not... Uh, Making up the cards we've got. He's still trying to make a decision. Still wondering if he'll get the money. Wondering if he really wants to go into the battle. Even though he can see himself maybe winning it. But he ends up walking away. So, um, that may, you may feel like that's biased after what I just said. But, but that's what I came up with. That's what the cards are saying. And I want to tell anybody they want a personal reading. I've been doing this for over 35 years, closer to 40. Uh, email me at lynntarotreadings at gmail.com and we'll set up a FaceTime where you can see the cards and talk to me while we're doing it. And I love doing personal readings. So uh, thank you all. Oh, and another thing I love is comments. So even if you didn't like my rant, I don't care if you comment unless you're being totally ridiculous and then I'm going to block you. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.